server that makes it so music doesn't show up on VODs. And I'm just paranoid that it doesn't work, even though it does. Let's try to get this today though. I've gotten pretty far a couple of times and I, I just really want to get the run. Also, I think my mic, uh, my mic might be too sensitive. I'm not sure because I could like hear my clicks so fucking loud um, earlier. I mean, I don't really know. I don't know how I would change it either. <laughs> Thank you. 
going to turn the music up just a bit in a sec. These damn crystal lizards. Hey birds, how you doing? I'm doing well. I finally fucking decided to stream. I also, um, so, I was messing around, I made like a little pixel art thing, and I turned that into, um, the channel points and also the, uh, one month sub badge, just as like a placeholder. I might just like mess around, make more pixel art crap for that, because it was actually kind of fun. I mean, it's, it's not very good, but it's fun. If that had hit me, I would have been kind of annoyed. Because, like, have to do a longer setup in the very beginning to prevent an even longer setup later. 
so it just makes the beginning super slow. Also, is all the is all the audio like good? Like, is the music too quiet or too loud in the game audio? Is that also good? Because I was messing around with a thing, so I could actually like have music. So I don't know if I fucked something up. A little bit low, but nice in the background. That's good, that's what I was going for. I don't want it to be, like, intrusive or anything. Also, hey, Orb. Again, GG on the all enemies run. Fucking insane. And thank you for the good luck. I need to add more of those, um... Like emotes. I don't remember what the thing is called, but like people always fucking use emotes that I don't like have in my chat and I feel bad. Also for some reason I just can't see like the actual emote half the time in other people's chat, so I feel like I need to like install like an external thing. So I'll I'll figure that out later, but it's not important. Yeah. Like, I was, I was procrastinating on the audio splitting thing until, I think, yesterday. When I'm just like, okay, you know what? I'm going back to school soon. I might as well fucking figure it out. And then, I'm gonna have to copy what I did onto my laptop, but... I mean, I actually got it done. Because for some reason it broke. And I mean, um... I used a different uh, tutorial, so I didn't have to use, like something like what what is it like voice meter or something like that because that was like super fucking weird so i just use something easier so it didn't work with you it's just like, it kept breaking with me. I don't know like what I was doing to make it break, but it was just super awkward. Like I, I always had trouble with like my mic randomly disconnecting. Um, so it was just like one stream it would work, I would change no settings, and then the next stream, the very next day, it would just not work. Also I found that out. If you, if you do a jumping attack there, also, it's scary. Uh, if you do a jumping attack there, he does a melee attack and falls off. I found that out on accident this morning. It's I mean, it's pretty cool. I mean, it was consistent before anyway, but... Uh, it, I think it's actually just faster to do it like this. 
They can't wait. They're they're so excited. I got so much to do before college, like I gotta like pack up all my shit, I gotta order my books. I gotta do all that. Strafing that is just fucking terrifying for me. When does college start? I think it starts like the 1st or the 2nd, but I move back on the 27th. And I decided against taking like my, my whole uh, PC setup, so I'm just going to be streaming from my laptop for the duration of uh, the college year. So I mean, it's it's less stuff to bring at the very least. This con actually just dodged it. The problem is I just do too much damage here. Cause like a single hit starts phase two and I want to start phase two with a tail cut so I can just instantly kill the other but if I don't I just gotta make do oh I have to I have to cheat on Jenna then otherwise I can't get it until after like f until like 45 minutes in something like that that's what I do with um pretty much any weapon I can't get um without killing a second boss. Like if I if I can like uh, get out of um, the the asylum and then get it without killing another boss, then I don't use cheat engine. But if it's like a boss weapon or later game, then I I just kinda have to. That's not what I meant. That's what I meant. I don't really like it, but like the fact that I have to cheat engine this stuff in, but only so much you can do. On the bright side, every Twinkling Titanite weapon can get to plus 5 before the second boss, so you, you've pretty much maxed out your damage at the very beginning. And just get it from the blacksmith. Um, because I don't really like uh, doing a like a one weapon part of the way through and then another weapon the rest of the way you know like it, it just it just doesn't feel right to me so it's like there, there's an argument either way um but it's just for me I'd rather just do the whole game with just the weapon if I can Like, I really wish it wasn't like this, but... Like, I, I very much prefer getting them, um, legitimately. <laughs> Sax, I am... I'm not going to argue, because that's correct. But... I am slightly offended that you would say it out loud. That was just like what we all knew, but we, we were just like polite enough to me to not say it out loud. I fucking love Mia.
Also, getting the purple moss clump for Quelag is amazing. Because I can actually like bother to set up RTSR without spending 20 minutes doing it. You literally just five shot her here. It's it's just so unfair. Like depending on what attack she opens with, she only gets that attack off. And we're getting the good opener. No, we're not. We're getting an okay opener. I mean, good enough. Oh my god. I don't know what's with me. I'm just coughing a lot. Like, my throat's just really dry. I, I do have water. It's just like, water doesn't help too much. It's like, it'll stop a coughing fit, but I'm still going to be coughing, unfortunately. God, it's only two. It, it really does not feel like it's only two. So, I like, I was literally just thinking, like, I'm not going to have time to do another run. But then I look at the time... Like, if I die, I, I just, like, look at the time, and I'm like, what the fuck am I thinking? Yes, I do. <laughs> My internal clock is just non-existent. I feel like you've been up for 30 hours. Didn't you take a nap today? Or is it because you haven't taken a nap today? Or, I'm sorry, you don't nap. And Lord, your time is convoluted, etc. Yeah. Yes, my apologies, Sax. You don't nap. But theoretically, if you were tired and felt like you had been up for 30 hours, would it because would it be because you theoretically nap and didn't nap today? I actually love this weapon so much, because it only scales from one stat, so it's just like I max that out, that stat out, and then I max the endurance out. I just love it. Then if I like, if I kept using Symbol of Avarice, I'd have like 800,000 probably plus souls at the end, like if I like didn't buy anything else. Well, maybe not 800,000, but... Quite a few, at least. Because after four kings, I think I have, like, 
two hundred and something thousand. I don't know. I don't remember how much the DLC bosses give, really. It's not like I ever really rely on them for souls. I don't know why, but when I started running, like, originally, I used to have so much trouble with, like, hitting the Lloyd's Talisman so he would fall asleep and not do an attack. I don't know why. There's very literally no reason. Oh my god. Is is that skipping in stream for you or cuz like the game just like feels like it's skipping. I... Like not in like a way that would like affect gameplay but just like visually. Hey Tara, how you doing, dude? It's been a minute. I feel like that's just something with my computer. Just another thing I need to figure out, other than the audio splitting. Fine on your own. That's good that it's just like I'm the only one that's seeing it. Either that or it's just like all in it in all in my head. But Sorry, Mesa. I've seen people playing that. Yeah, I haven't seen any of the gameplay, but I've seen that people are playing that. How is it? And uh Sax, was that the game that Saucer was talking about? I'm pretty sure it was. I think I heard like Bloodborne plus Sekiro combat. Sounds interesting in concept. Hope it's good. Cause like it, it definitely sounds like a very interesting game. Sekiro and Bloodborne had a baby. Yeah, I haven't I haven't seen any gameplay from it, but I I hope it's good because I might play it at some point. I don't probably not on stream, but I might play it at some point. Level design is bad. Hmm, that's unfortunate. Good, the combat is good though. I mean, I wasn't expecting it to be, like, a 10 out of 10 game.
See, this is what's killed me so far. This that that has killed me a few times. Where he's just throwing it to there, and I'm like not paying attention. And I like run up there. Six out of ten for you so far. Mm. Would you say that combat is worth it or no? I mean, I'll, I'll probably look at, like, gameplay of it if I'm, like, really, really considering getting it. Like, I do enjoy Sekiro combat. Straight at you. So like, instead of having like the three or four um, fixed points that he throws at, he just throws them directly at you? If so, that's pretty funny. <laughs> that's actually great, what the heck? Kind of makes more sense too, but I can see how that would be like really, really terrible for like first time players. So they definitely should have left it in to make it even worse. I use Cheat Engine Tarot. I, I make a save state at the start um, and, swi and switched out the um, straight sword hilt for the hammer. Change trajectory midair. <laughs> Oh my god, they really should have left it in then. That sounds amazing. Cheater. I know, I know. I just don't want to do the first part of the run with like a different weapon. Because it just it just doesn't feel right to me, you know. I know, I'm a filthy cheater. Firebombs, Lloyds. And I've started, um, like very recently, setting up RTSR on the way to ONS instead of like sitting at the bonfire before them and then setting it up on the stairs. Just because it's a little bit faster. You're gonna source you just <laughs> Yeah, but that's just cosmetic instead of like changing how the run actually goes. The thing is I just like I wouldn't know what to use as like an interim weapon before getting this. I love doing that little jump. I mean, it's it's unnecessary risk, but it's fun. What are you doing? Thank you. Since you had more poison risk, <laughs> that's amazing. That's that's actually amazing. It's just the little things change. Like, that's the thing, actually. Um, if you want to set up RTSR, uh, and, you, and you, like, heal to full at a certain point when the poison bar is, it actually changes per character because of different um, poison resistances and healths. And I, I really hate that. Because, like, such a small difference, but it changes... Like, it completely fucks you if you do a heal at the wrong time. I mean, I don't know. I could definitely learn them, but it's just annoying. I 
had to roll Peepo Rage. Ruined my no roll run, come on. Yeah. I just don't like it. Like, I, I never got the um, setup right. He better not, dude. I, I saw him trying to go for one of his fast attacks. <clears throat> so it's like... I definitely should do something like that, like throwing it at the uh, blow dart guy. But the way I actually uh, descend Blight Town, um, I, I don't ever like interact with him or get close enough to throw a bomb at him. I do like a really weird version of Blight Town Drop that if you like run correctly then you actually um, like get onto the elevator just as it comes around so it's like you don't have to wait at all. I mean, especially for twinkling weapons, you don't really need RTSR that much. Try playing DS3 again, but the game still sucks. You still have a clear mind. That was stupid. I was like, is Ornstein doing an attack? Jesus. Mo actually moved me out of the way. What the fuck? This is so fucked. This is actually terrible. That was awful. I 100% deserve to die. Like, I, I did not deserve to live through that. Can't I hit you? I'm just like not aiming up enough, I think. Gotta aim for the tits. Just like. Gotta, gotta get it stuck in the cleavage. 
I'm trying to think. I, I'm, th I'm th trying to think. Like, I feel like there's like some game where you try to get like goldfish and like in between somebody's tits. I don't know where I like heard of that though. So I don't know if that's like an actual thing. Chosen undead. I think if I get this today, I'm gonna do a store straight sword next. Cause that's like a not very good weapon. Plus, you don't need to cheat it in. Also, something I only just realized, um, like a couple of days ago, those that room is like completely full of cockroaches. Like on the walls, on the floors, just everywhere. Like the path you walk is literally just cockroaches. I hate that. I hate that the skeletons just fall down. I think the place that I stand is like a place they can't actually land on. So like it's safe enough, but I still hate it. And I, I never get this damn roll. I never get the right mask either.
I'm gonna have to go to the restroom soon. Drinking too much water. That timing on the symbol of avarice was actually like amazing with the um, the bird teleport. skin number two but that there was a boss there I, I I just blinked and I was just like in front of the black knight I mean I mean if, if you say there was a boss there I guess I had this really shitty meme the other day, like two runs ago, uh, on the way to Priscilla. So, um, like in, in Painted World, usually I wear only fog ring and not slumbering, because um, that actually helps because it turns enemies and makes them behave differently. Um, because otherwise you'd get just like a lot of like instant jump, lunge, whatever you want to call it attacks from like the basic hollows, like if you had both stealth rings on, and I, like for the first time ever, I got like an instant jump attack out of one of those hollows while only wearing fog ring, and I was like, what the fuck, and like I saw it coming up, I just like didn't react in time. Okay, after Nito, I'm gonna go to the bathroom.
Ops. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I have way too much health. Setting up the RTSR is actually going to take a sec. Well, I guess not. That's fine.
Okay, that guy back there was the one who had done like the insta jump meme at me, uh, like two or three runs ago. It really bothered me actually. Like, I, I don't know what I did wrong exactly. Because it's, it's never happened. I've never seen it happen to anyone either. I'm so bad at Priscilla. I gotta leave 20k for, uh, what's it called, Andre. I'm 
purchase item. Hey Lang, thanks for good luck. Make me want to play it again? Then play it again. Do it. I'd love a Dark Souls stream from you. Miss this game? I'm sure after a couple of uh, a couple of really stupid encounters with like a boss or an enemy, you'll say, "Nah, it's fine. I'm good." <laughs> Moonlight Butterfly makes me clench so fucking hard, by the way. Like, actual worst boss in this game. Like, nothing else fucking compares. Even Centipede Demon is way fucking better than this. I am slightly biased though. I, I really like Centipede Demon. Like for some godforsaken reason, I actually really like Centipede Demon. <laughs> Even though it's a terrible boss, like objectively. I mean, I'm glad I don't do the fat roll strat, though, for butterfly. Because that's, like, more difficult, in my opinion, than the mid roll strat. Or it's, it's more difficult for me, at least. Also, my stamina in this run, it's just fucking nuts. I love it. Like, literally every stamina regen item in the game. Thank you. 
I got a lot of counter damage on the first two hits for some reason, so I could have actually finished it off before. Uh, I, I could have just gone for a third hit. But I don't like changing shit up. Also, this song is a fucking banger, but I wonder what it's like talking about. Cause it's like the all the songs from the album um, from this band um, were all like historical or actually yeah, just historical stuff. So I wonder what this song is. It's called Grave of the Fireflies. I have no fucking clue what it's about. Because, like, the rest of them I actually kind of knew already, but... Except for, like, two I had to look up, but I just haven't looked this one up. Also, that reminds me, I should go to Thing, um, that has the band name and song name. So I can just, like, put it on, on screen. Or, like, a command for that. But I don't know how to do either of those, so... Yeah, I'm, I'm probably gonna just have to look up a tutorial, like I did for the audio splitting. And even then, like, even after, uh, like, using the tutorial, I had to talk to somebody who, like, actually knew what they were fucking doing to, like, figure it out. Also, I need to, like, get a playlist that isn't, like, complete fucking tonal whiplash. <laughs> It'll go from like fucking J-pop to deathcore. probably ask him. Yeah. I, hang on. This is annoying. Man. I gotta take that off. Band-aid. Okay, um, yeah, so I'll, I'll probably look up a tutorial, and if I can't, like, figure it out with that, because, like, they, they don't always, like, talk about all the shit that I need. Uh, if I can't, like, get it from the tutorial, I'll just ask Shilky. But then I'll have to set it up on my laptop, so I'm gonna have to actually, like, remember how to do it. Hi, Hovel, bye, Hovel. Oop, oh, being spicy today. I heard you attack. I don't think it's even possible for Hovel to attack fast enough if you have both stealth rings on. If you don't, he might be able to like hear you if you like mess around outside, but I don't even know if he'll be able to attack fast enough even if he does hear you. Did I kill Taurus? Not yet. Here. This is... This is the best boss in the entire run. You ready for this? What health bar? He didn't even get to have a health bar for a second, it just showed up and it was empty. 
Uh, this weapon is so fucking broken. What an epic struggle indeed. Hours, nay, days of combat all come to a head with the one final blow. Cool, I hit the dog. That was way short. One shot with fall damage. Now we don't even need to uh, drop attack him. <laughs> I was about to say that probably missed, but I guess not. Okay guys, don't blink. Hmm. He was being spicy today. Your eyes dried up. I'm getting a lot better um, free aiming. I, I've said this before, but I used to like not be able to free aim for shit. Like I had to aim everything with a bow, but it's just like that's so much fucking work. So I just learned how to free aim. I'm just like fuck it. I don't think I even need to kill those two. I'm just being excessive. Also, I really, I, I've started doing that. I really don't think he can attack you if you just like run straight in, um, to to here. How'd that miss? Do I just suck? I mean, we all know I do, but that's probably one of the harder firebomb throws in this entire run. Uh, no. You only need, um, fog, but you, if you don't use, um, the sound ring, you can't, like, go very far into the arena. So, like, you have to stay, like, really close to the fog wall if you don't use, uh, slumbering. Also, uh, I did a run offline earlier today, and I got hit like as I was going into the Four Kings arena. It's like something that was like relatively uncommon, so I, I need to figure out like a better way to make sure I can't get hit. That's not like slow as all fuck. Because so many of the new Londo strats are just so damn slow. Run back is very painful. 
the run back itself is not that bad once the uh, water is down. But actually getting the water down is... The way I do it, you have to be like kind of precise. And I mean, there's definitely a better strat, but um, I, I just straight up refuse to uh, learn how to like properly aim the bow and fire bombs. That place used to give me so much trouble. Like, I had no fucking clue what I was doing, and half the time I would just get blocked by the ghost. I still hate that place, it's terrible. It's so bad. I haven't been hit doing it when I do it, like, correctly, but I really feel like I can get hit. I really feel like I can get hit. Interesting route. Yeah, I made it, um, when I was trying to do, like, a no-range routing. Doesn't It doesn't feel safe, but I've done that, like, probably a hundred times at this point. And the only times I've been hit are when I mess up at the very start. Like, I, I, I don't know, it just, it doesn't feel safe, but it has been so far. Kill him with firebombs? Yeah, that's what I was saying earlier. Um, like, it's, it's, I can do that, but I just, like, haven't fucking been asked to actually learn the proper throw. Plus, it's gonna mess with, like, uh ghost positioning, so I won't be able to do my strat then, so it just makes it weird, and then I have to just do a different strat. And either way, that's that's not what I get hit to here. Like, what I get hit to is like right as I'm walking into the uh, fog wall to Four Kings, sometimes there's a ghost that isn't like lured uh, away, so he's just like sitting there just waiting for you. And I don't know why, because like 95% of the time he'll be gone and the other 5% where I like I can't figure out what I've done differently but he just isn't fucking gone so he's just sitting there waiting like it's, it's terrible speedrun strats. Mm, takes years off my life, I swear. See, he's he's gone now. But sometimes he's like waiting. But green splits, indeed.
too janky compared to DS2. Uh, I totally understand that. <laughs> so, both have jank. What? He just had fucking iframes as he spawned in. Side hop, by the way. I was standing literally where he spawns, what the fuck? What a riveting boss fight. that get rid of it? It doesn't get rid of it. <laughs> it's just chilling here. Uh, it's hilarious. That's why I don't like um, killing them with magic in the area. Because if you're in like a really really bad position the magic can just be like right on top of you and it just fucks you. It's really fun. Can take damaging for a few seconds. Yeah, I just like barely don't uh, have enough damage to finish them off. I think I get like two or three extra hits after they die. Projectiles. Oh, really? Hmm. I hadn't seen anything like that before. That's interesting. I'll keep that in mind. I've, I've never had projectiles damage me after. Um, you played on uh, Prepare to Die, right? Maybe that's like a prepare to die thing. Yeah, that would be like really shitty. I would be very mad if that happened. Oh my god, camera, please. Ooh, I've never seen him jump to the side. That's something new. Back in the day, maybe they fixed it. I would hope they fixed something like that in the remaster. I mean, they did basically jack shit in the remaster, but still. Yeah, yeah, come on, bud. Yeah, I mean, the remaster was definitely just a cash grab, but I, I really feel like... I, I really hope they fixed that.
Easy. They even fixed the Priscilla softlock? I'm not sure. I don't think so. I think my friend was telling me about that. Because I had never heard of it. Okay, the other day, I died to, like, an Eaton roll or a late roll, I'm not sure which, to the golden golem up here. Like, I can pretty consistently get far in the game, with this route, at least. It's just a matter of actually executing the, the end of the game. And my distance PB is literally Gwyn, because I fucked up. I hate this place, it's so fucking slidey. Which boss is hardest in this game? I've played this game way too damn much, so they're, none of them are really hard. But I would say ONS has the highest chance of killing me. Well, I, I shouldn't say none of them are hard. I just know how to play all of them quite well. ONS is definitely the hardest because of the RNG. Because um, of the gank. But uh, once you take, like, if it, it was if it was just like one on one um, with O and S, I mean, obviously they'd be super fucking easy. But that's not the point. Like O and S, if you get bad luck, then you're fucked. Like you can play, you 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 can play in a way that minimizes the chance of getting like cornered or having bad luck or something like that. I'm, I want to wait until the uh, clam turns around. Hardest to fully learn. Um. Hmm. Um, Manus, depending on how you play him, is quite difficult. Um, he, Manus, like, depending on how you play him, can either be super easy or super hard. Um, Artorius, um, again, but generally Artorius can be pretty easy. Um, Kalamit can be pretty annoying, but I don't know. I wouldn't say any of them are like, well, maybe Centipede Demon. Centipede Demon's uh, kind of difficult to learn. And I'm not saying that to like stroke my own ego or something like that, because I am actually good at Centipede Demon. Um, like he, he is uh, quite difficult to learn, depending on how you're fighting him. Sorry about that. I don't know. I, I find Centipede Demon quite fun to fight, though. I don't think he's... I don't know. I, I wouldn't say he's, like, super difficult to learn, though. I don't know, actually. It's been so long since I actually, like, buckled down and learned a boss uh, that I don't really remember how difficult it was to learn.
influenced by Centipede since PS3 times. Centipede is like, he is like jank, but I really like it. The only thing I don't like is his arena. Like his arena is fucking god awful. I mean, at least in Remaster, it's not, like, completely blinding you, so you can look at the screen while fighting instead of just, like, closing your eyes and praying. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I mean, different people are going to struggle with different things. Um... So probably one of the DLC bosses, or ONS, are going to be the most difficult for most people to learn. But I mean, that's... Uh, that feels like a really... like a non-answer, you know? Ring. I mean, technically I do, but I mean, I'm not gonna just like equip it mid fight. If you could get it like outside of the fight, that'd be great. Like, a quest line? Yeah. I wouldn't make sense from a lore perspective, but it would be nice. Come on. Got the damage cancel. That damage cancel is so difficult for me. Like outside the fight? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Let's see if he falls off or not. Sometimes that guy just like slips off the edge for some reason. It's pretty funny. I don't understand why he does it. Like, I think he's just like having trouble tracking me. Hardfall mechanic? I don't know. I mean, it, it is a very strange mechanic and it can really fuck you, but I think it's interesting. My head is starting to cramp a little. DS1 has hard fall, and DS3 is just easy. <laughs> I fucking love Dragon Force. I don't listen to him very often, but... I mean, now that I've said that, the fucking shuffle is just gonna put on like six Dragon Force songs in a row. Let's see if we get fucked over. Now that I've said I'm good at this boss like five times. Let's see if I just die, like, instantly.
only two or three songs we love them. They're great. Like, Dragon Force is just generally very good. Like, there are very, very few songs that are not. Uh, let me... Firebomb, Firebomb, Blossom. I forgot- I'm- I'm literally forgetting to eat the Blossoms, dude. <laughs> like, I'm- I'm just straight up forgetting to eat the Blossoms. What do you want to bet I fucking die on Bed of Chaos? <laughs> That'd be so funny, actually. If I actually die to Bed of Chaos, I will laugh so fucking hard. I'll also die a little bit inside because it's fucking bed of chaos, but whatever. The memories. Dude, I've died. I had two um, one hit PVs on Demon Sphere because of bed of chaos. It's so fucking stupid. The hardest boss ever. Dude, I, I fucking get that. I did like 20 runbacks. I'm like, oh my god, this is literally fucking impossible. Hey Parno, thanks for the good luck. I'm gonna have to take another piss after Beta Chaos. I'm just re-blessing the run, you know? I was gonna say, what are you doing? Better Chaos was just chillin'. Okay, GG. I'll be right back. Bathroom.
I'm back. All achievements. Um, not something I really plan on doing now. It's just, it's not something I'm super interested in. Um, at the moment at least. So it's, I, I wouldn't rule it out, but uh, it's not really uh, something I'm planning on. And yeah, all achievements is not really that bad in DS1. What, five bosses left? And hopefully I don't mess up Gwyn if I get to him. I think I messed up on like the second to last parry a couple weeks ago when I was just like doing this run offline. Uh, it's the seventh mimic. So if you use um, Lloyd's Talisman, that counts as one mimic. So like, uh, if you have, I think, six Lloyd's Talismans and a very low damage weapon, um, just hit the mimic with all. S just hit the mimic. Um, pick up the item. Uh, wake it up. Hit it again so it falls asleep. Um, and then keep doing that and keep checking if there's an item every time, because there's a chance that. Um, it drops it as like a random drop, and then it wouldn't be as the seventh drop. So you gotta check it every time. And then that's how you get it. So for this, I use four Lloyd's Talismans and three Mimics. Just use the one in Sen's Fortress and then the two in Anorlando right before ONS. Sorry, I'm coughing. What is this RNG? What the fuck? I don't know about Prepare to Die. Uh, I only know about Remastered. What the fuck was that RNG? Like, what? What, what, what? what the actual fuck was that? He just kept doing wind attacks. 
That was so weird. Like, I'm... I guess I'm not complaining, but, like... That was so strange. I've never seen him do that many in a row. What the hell? This game is so weird. Show me the color shmeet. Colomete is a boy, and we saw no penis, so that means Colomete's penis is his tail, and his tail is his penis. So whenever he tail slams, he's trying to just lay his massive dick on your face. That's the deep lore, by the way. 100% canon. Like, you know how they don't usually, like, confirm lore or anything? They had to, like, come out and confirm this, because people just wouldn't believe it. Fucking wish, dude. <laughs> That'd be so funny. Now I'm just prepared for the worst possible RNG on Artorius. And just to be annoyed the whole time. And then to die before the last hit. That was greed, but it worked. Swinging his dick around, wiping out civilizations. Exactly. Like, Kalamit's so angry because his dick is just too big. Like, his dick is just too big, he can't fuck anything. That was... closer than I would've liked.
Never seen him do an attack off there. That's new. He can fuck dirt. I mean, that's just sad. Well, no, he could fuck the gaping dragon, I guess. But I mean, imagine your only fucking... Imagine your only option to fuck is just like a massive toothy cunt. So, I mean, I wouldn't be too happy about that either. In different game. Unfortunately. Maybe Ava. <laughs> I think it's too big for Ava. And I mean, it's probably too big for Sin as well. I think Ava would fucking... Like, actually just die. Got s fucked by Kalamit. I feel like it'd just be like the equivalent of using like a fucking railroad spike on a person. <sighs> I backstepped really early because I'm nervous. I, I I thought he saw me. I mean, being in the same universe does not mean you can fuck it. That's the thing. Like, say there's just like, I don't know, like an alien literally across the known fucking universe. Not like I can fuck that. And also time. Time is also a constraint. Time and space don't mean shit here. I mean, that's fair enough, I guess. <clears throat> that was close.
bitch. How did he, I thought he died from that. I'm glad I actually was paying attention still. It belongs to Bloodborne. And I mean, Patches just belongs in all of them. I could have just boned, actually. Souls too. I mean, he just he he just decided to be a shapeshifter and turn into Pete instead. Either that, or there was trouble traveling to Dark Souls two, and he actually split into two different people, Pete and Creighton, and then um, the the whole thing was just like a battle for which personality would be dominant when they recombined into patches. There. Lore. Sorry about that. This song is fucking great. I'm actually gonna restart this song for Column 8. Well, actually, no. I'll probably kill Column 8, um, like, as the song is going right now. Bone time is instant. Indeed, fast bone. Am I gonna die or am I gonna live? That is the question. And then am I gonna die to Gwyn a second time if I do live? <laughs> That'd be so sad. What the fuck? 
if you don't shoot him down. Um, he, he just like sprays fire in the arena from above. You, you can't really fight him. Playing against that wall was fucking dangerous. GG. <laughs> yeah, it's like literally halfway through the song and I killed Kalami. Don't get hit by the dick. Yep. We like dicks here, but not that much. Not enough that I want to be crushed to death by one. What? Take that off. <sighs> I literally forgot to use green blossoms for like half the fucking fights. Die because of an enormous dick. <laughs> Cause of death crushed into a fine paste by a massive penis. That was kind of close. GG. And that's the run. No, I was using Hornet Ring. Two hours and five minutes. Nice.